What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Mold Man episode. I'm back in Texas, and I'm headed to Home Depot right now. I got a turtle problem. I'm gonna shoot him with my Air Force 25, but there's too many, and I'm leaving for a uh, out of the country hunting trip in a few days. So I'm gonna build me a turtle trap and let it soak while I'm gone. See how many turtles I can get out of that pond. They're eating all of my bait fish. I went out there earlier today and used to you could walk up to the pond and there'd be perch and bait fit or bluegill to y'all everywhere and there's nothing and i saw about 20 turtle heads pop up when i was standing there so we're headed home depot uh, i got in trouble last time i filmed it here so i'm gonna run in there buy the supplies and i'll see you back at the house whenever we're uh, putting stuff together All right, I made it back to the house. It's actually the next day. I ran out of time last night. Guys, sorry about the messy shop, but today I'm making a turtle trap. This is just an old rabbit cage. I took the top, actually I took the bottom off of it. Uh, they were just zip tied together. It's an old rabbit trap or rabbit cage that uh, I guess we kept rabbits in at one point. But uh, so what I did, I got a 10 foot long piece of three inch PVC pipe. Got four 90 degree angle uh, fittings, same size on, on both sides. Some zip ties, uh, a few screws, and then some PVC glue. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this together. I basically just cut it to size. I think these were uh, three foot sides. So I got uh, four three foot um, pieces, and then I have four of these 90 degree. Go ahead, glue all this together. And, uh, and then we'll start. I think I'm going to just zip tie it on there. And then I got some pieces of wood that I'm gonna put on the sides for uh, the turtles to walk up on. So. so. Now we got our top frame part. This is what this is what is going to make the cage float, just like that. Put it on top. Essentially, we'll put the uh, boards on each side. We'll put some bait in the cage, and then the whole cage will be underwater. Just this will be on top, and this makes it to where they can't get out. So if they're in the cage, they can swim up all they want to this, but they slip off the PVC, so they can't get out of it once they're in it where they come up and then see the bait in there, get in thinking that they can get out, but they can't get out. So now what we'll do is, I think the best option is going to be zip tying this on. I'm trying to do this um, as cheap and as simple as possible. So we'll take some big zip ties, might have to double them up. Yeah, so we'll have to double these up. I'm gonna make sure that the wire is close and snug with the PVC or else I'll be able to get through the cracks and you don't want that. So we're gonna do it all the way around and then we'll put the boards on. So I got all the uh, zip ties all the way around. I trimmed the tail ends. Now, I was gonna screw these boards. It's just pieces of plywood. And uh, I was gonna screw them into, into the PVC, but I don't want the PVC to fill up with water. So I think I'm gonna drill like three or four holes in the top part of the plywood and then just zip tie it to the sides. So we'll see if this works. And then essentially what's gonna happen is when this is in the water, these boards will kind of float. So they'll swim up to it, get on the board, and then they can crawl in. So the board's not gonna be angled like this. Uh, it's gonna be all the way around. It's gonna be in the water. And 
this is going to work perfect. So that will just, oh that's perfect. It will float in the water just like that. And they'll be able to walk up and fall right in. Cut these tags off. Do the other side real quick and then we'll take her up to the pond, see how many turtles we can catch. Time to take her to the pond, throw her in, see how many turtles we can catch. Pond. Alright guys, this is my pond behind my house. Turtle's been eating all my, look there's one right there. Turtle's been eating all my bait fish. This is some old uh, wild turkey meat that got left in the freezer. It was at the bottom. It got forgot about. So we're going to use this as bait. You can use anything as bait. My dad likes to use chicken livers as bait. Uh, but anything will work. Got me a rope. We're just gonna toss it in, tie it off, and uh, let her soak. And let her soak all day, and then we'll come back tonight and see if we catch anything. Sometimes it takes a few days for them to figure it out, but uh, we'll see what happens. Like that, and we'll throw her in. Hope this works. Hope it doesn't sink. All I need is that other side of wood to come up and she'll be perfect. Just like that. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. Now I just want it to drift out into the middle a little bit. So the turtles feel safe. Now we just let her soak, and uh, it is 5.27 right now. So we will come back before dark, see if anything's got in it. If not, I'll, uh, I'll have to check it when I get back from Africa, because I'm leaving. So hopefully we get something in it. All right, it is 7.53, so it's been soaking for a few hours. I don't know if it's enough time, and I forgot to do one thing. On that wood, I meant to put, I had some chicken wire that I was going to staple to it so they could grab onto it. So I don't know if they'll be able to get up that wood without slipping and just slipping back into the water, but we'll find out. The ones that we put at the ranch, uh, I remember when we first got them, we didn't have anything for a day or two because they had to get used to it and sun on it and stuff. So shot in the dark, but we'll see what happens. Well, it didn't do what I wanted it to. It uh, pretty much floated to the bank, so. I brought my old Air Force 25 too, so if I see any just hanging out in the pond, it'll pop. There's one sitting right there. Oh, he just went under. Oh, another one popped up. Got him. None. Dang it. Well, that didn't work like I wanted it to. We're going to leave it out, though. I'm going to move. Yes. 
smoked him. This is like the best little turtle popper ever made. It's 25 cal. It's got a little, this thing is sweet. Little suppressor on there. Here, you want to shoot one? Where? Straight across from him. Sounded like you hit him. Shot in front of him. Dang it. This thing shot it in for like 50 yards. So I'm shooting in front of him. I sighted this thing in for like 50 yards because I was going to go coyote hunting with it. So I missed every single one of those big bullfrogs by like a foot. I just couldn't get it right. I couldn't couldn't uh, figure out how, how high to aim, so oh well. Alright guys, we got dinner if I can hit it. Oh, oh my gosh. Smoked him. Yes. Headshot with the old 25 on an old cottontail. That right there is what you call a headshot. We got dinner. Well, our house is uh, right there. Turned out to be a pretty good day. Rabbits everywhere around here just to let you know um, When I had my garden last year, we had a garden going I didn't do it this year I just been too busy, but they would be there'd be like five or six rabbits in our backyard just wearing it out so It doesn't hurt to take one or two every now and then And I love to eat cottontail so a little clean bowl of water. Oh, so this is a big male as you can see Got some big old gonads on them. But uh, all you need is scissors to clean these rabbits. A pair of uh, kitchen shears. Cut the legs off. Take your knife or take your scissors. Skin is so soft you can just tear it. So just. Find a place where you can kind of bring it down. Just like that. Just like that. Pop his front legs out. Cut the head off. Come back here. Cut the back parts off. I'm gonna try to keep as much hair off the meat as possible too. So, another little trick you can do with rabbits. Just make a, uh, Make a cut right here in the back. Just like that, where you can open it up. I'll show you how to, uh, the easy the easy way to gut a rabbit. You just take it up, get under those front legs, and you wanna just squeeze. And work it down. And there's your part, liver, kidneys, everything you need to take out, comes out in one swipe. So you can see that that cleaned out the whole cavity of the uh, rabbit. There's a few little things in here that you can still pull out after you squeeze it out, but nothing too complicated. Um, it's really simple to do. Really easy to uh, teach your kids how to do this. 
and it's one of the best things you can do with your family if you're just getting into hunting or uh, just want to get your kids outdoors so we'll lay him in that water take him inside clean him off I'm gonna go dump these guts and then I'll see you guys in the kitchen all right we got some broccoli and cauliflower cooking we also got a few little uh, pork tenderloins wrapped in bacon but what I did got some yellow bell pepper uh, some onion and some butter so what I'm gonna do is just lay this guy right on the foil take some critter glitter get it out man out now dust them off with a little critter glitter just like that well, then we're gonna try some let's see let's try some Smoky mesquite. This has got to be good. Whoo! That reminds me kind of a. If you've ever had, um, man, what is that stuff called? We marinate our jerky in it. it smells just like it. <sighs> I'll get back to you. I'm gonna put a little of this olive oil on here. Just like that. This is the Texana brand Smoky Mesquite Infused Olive Oil. And that smells like just some, something I know. Two little hunks of butter. Put one in this cavity and then one in between the back legs. And then we'll just spread out some of these peppers. And onions. And you want to just wrap it up. And throw that straight on the grill. Let it cook on uh, medium to low heat for like probably 45 minutes. We want it to cook all the way through good. So we'll go throw these on the grill. And we'll give it the old rating. She is done steaming. We got a little pork back strap and some rabbit. Yeah, baby, that looks good. We got a little tin one in there. Just falling apart. All right, I gotta compare this to the jackrabbit. Cooked perfectly. This butt. Oh, that's perfect. Right. This is the test bite right here. The uh, score bite. Not near as tough as I expected it to be. Mm. That's better than the jackrabbit. I'll give it that much. So, we're gonna scale this on based on all the rabbits I've ever had. Cottontail, jackrabbit, anything. Just rabbits in general. I mean, I could eat this every night. That's super, super good. No, oh, it's just hard. Big peppers are really good too. I'm gonna give it a eight point four on all the rabbits I've ever had. I think I think rabbit and dumplings is still my favorite. I'm gonna do that on the next rabbit catch clean and cook, but that's super good. So leave in the comments how you guys cook y'all's rabbits. And uh, I can try some of y'all's recipes as well, but this one always works good for me. It's always done good. It always tastes good when it's done. So, uh, hmm. so we're going to eat our dinner. And uh, 
Hope you guys enjoy this video. It's kind of a vlog day uh, and ended with, look at this drawer. It keeps opening. There's a ghost in my house. Anyway, so it's kind of all over the place today. It ended with a bang. Got a rabbit on the way into the house. So stay tuned for the next video. I'll be in Africa very soon, hunting up there, doing a lot of catch, cleaning, cooks. So get psyched for those videos. I'll see you in the next episode. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.